hold on, wait a minute, something ain't right. <laughs> All right, this video is about, you know, the so-called uh, dump feature of these things. Um, see a lot of videos online on YouTube of fake news and misinformation on, you know, the military design needs to dump or you can make them dump and stuff and stuff. You know, that's all, that's all fake news. These leaf spring brackets where the, where the uh, arms connect to, they are at an angle. One, two. So when you go and disconnect these and you go back up, you set, set your brake and you go back up your truck, these want to push out at an angle so it puts pressure here it also puts pressure on your tongue peaks because they want to spread out i mean i had this tongue off and i dropped the bracket and you know it went from a gap like that where it bolted and, and it went out so you, they they want to push out when you do that so all you're doing here is adding unneeded stress on this cast piece. So eventually what's going to happen is you're going to break their damn ears off. And, you know, over time, maybe not the first time or the second time or, you know, how many other times, but eventually it's going to add undue stress onto this cast and shear it right off or you'll bend your arms and you'll never line up right with these i, mean, I had the trailer for a couple years i never dumped with it because i was reading online and who's we saying it ain't designed to be dumped and all that stuff and then these wouldn't really line back up i had to fix that so and then add stress on your brakes because this piece was broken off and no, no not that one this one right here you can see where it broke the weld and kind of pushed it out and i didn't fix it it's all right but yeah they're not designed to dump let's look at the official data plate uh here it is so if you see on the data plate that's the way it's supposed to be stored and transported not like that straight so when they transport these they unbolt them here and swing the legs up so they're like this that's the transport feature of the trailer you can collapse the tongue up for more room not bend it down like that so yeah so if you come and keep doing it, you're just gonna you're just gonna break these ears off, one of them or both of them, or you're gonna mess up your your arms. So I mean, if you break that off, good luck trying to find a new one. They they don't make new ones anymore. So you know, you'll probably have to find a parts trailer and rob the parts off of it and spend a whole bunch of money on you know on a parts trailer i mean these things are getting harder and harder to find i mean this is a 1953 this is the first iteration as the uh, parking brake handles up front you know the you know, yellow one's up front but this style the yellow one's like a lever that push goes you know like this so you know, this trailer is pretty rare in itself because you don't really see a lot of the first iteration trailers. And this, the trailer's in pretty good shape. I hold a lot of scrap metal with it and mulch and stuff. And it had the sides and then I was able to find the bows and I was able to find a cover. And it was red and it was a camo cover so it didn't really, didn't really match. So it has to be all redone. And I was just gonna paint and stuff and then it just kind of exploded, everything came apart. But anyways, you know, you can see the angle on it. 
So, and you can do what you want with your trailer. But I think the only way that you can make a dump is make a new bracket and make this straight and then make those straight. Make an adapter, make it straight, where when you tilt it, it's at a it's at a straight angle instead of tilting at an angle. I mean, if you're gonna do all that work, you might as well make a subframe and make it hydraulically dump, which probably would even work out even better than doing it, you know, like this. So, there's a little tidbit to all the fake news out there. Like I said, you can do what you want with your trailer, but you know, just be warned.